I'm Dave, and this is Melissa, and we've been attending Real Life for about 11 years now. Dave and I had, um, we've, we've always as a couple been very traditional as far as the man is the provider and the wife stays at home and takes care of the kids. In December of last year, Dave, who um, he has multiple sclerosis, had um, an attack. He was not able to return to work and he lost his job. A home group uh, during presence adopted our family and they provided us with everything from, from toilet paper and paper towels to shoes and clothes for our kids. God was showing himself in a way that we had never experienced before. In March, Historic Faith came and Jim preached a sermon shortly thereafter and he said, God will always provide for us what we need, but is that enough? When Melissa and I came home and we started talking about that, that message and what we've experienced over the last 10 years and realized that um, our hearts needed to change. Our hearts needed to, to change in, in tithing, you know. We're still gonna tithe, you know, but we need to stop looking at it as an obligation. We had the commitment cards and it was kind of a joke, like, what do you commit when you have nothing? And so I, I guesstimated and I said, well, in the rare event that we actually make money in the next two years, this is how much we'll give. But I said, no matter what, we commit to giving 10% of whatever we make. I think this might be the amount. And we turned it in. And God is just providing. And every week we have our tithe envelope and we get to, you know, we put cash in it throughout the week and every time on Friday before service, we count how much is in our tithing envelope. And we are always so excited and just filled with joy um, when we get to tithe because we know that it's, that it's not, it's no longer an obligation thing. It is that we, we get to give this because God's actually given us, like he's provided for us this much and, and so we get to give out of that. God has just moved so much in our world and now it's not been a year and I'm pretty confident that we're, if we have not yet met, we're pretty close to meeting the two year goal that I just kind of threw out there. If you're teetering on whether or not to tithe and, and give and to, and to take that step, I encourage you to be faithful to what God has called us to do because when we're faithful to Him, He is faithful to us.